So our staircase is gonna run up here, across the wall, and then return back on itself. So we're just about to get these joists in here now, and we're using these the little twisty nails. Also, I just wanna show you this, Pete's new tool belt. Come on, Pete, give us a twirl. So, we started yesterday, just had a bit of a sort out of everything, got our nice working areas ready, so we've got a nice little setup in here, ready for basically machining everything up and whatever. Uh, our staircase has landed as well, so that there is going to be installed here. So our staircase is gonna run up here, across the wall, and then return back on itself. We're gonna put some additional joists in here, double trim will go in, and then we can put whatever other infills we need uh, once our staircase is in. So that will be all good. This wall here is basically like a banana. I don't know if you can see it very well. GoPro lenses are pretty fisheye anyway, so it looks a bit, everything looks a bit wobbly, but this is particularly bad. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna stud this all out across here, get this all nice and plumb. Because this is just a nine inch wall as well, we're gonna put some insulation in between the stud work so we can get this nice and warm in here. We don't want any cold spots. We're also gonna run some damp at the back because you can see here, that is actually the external floor level. So we're gonna make sure that we're all fully protected with damp everywhere in here so we don't get any damp transfer coming through because obviously that's the last thing we want. We're gonna basically stud this whole wall right the way from here, right the way up there. This window here will be coming out, being blocked up completely. That window up there is gonna stay. This little window here is gonna stay. You can see there was originally a toilet here. It was very nice, I had to take that out yesterday. So we've removed that. This floor level here will be coming up to match in with this and basically where this corner of the wall is here, we're gonna bring that raised floor all the way across to there, so then this will all be one nice floor level. There is a door here, there's an entryway in. There is also going to be a door here, because on the outside you can see there was originally a door, you can just see a, a wooden lintel in there actually, uh, but there's a nice archway on the outside, so we're gonna reinstate this door as well, so it's easier to access from the main house into here. There will be a toilet reinstated back under the stairs. We're gonna push it as far underneath the stairs as we can, just to obviously maximise the space in that little area. And then also there's gonna be a little cupboard which will form underneath the staircase, just for extra storage. This will be kept as a garage here, above here. We can't really climb up at the minute and show you, but upstairs is gonna be a kitchenette, a bathroom, and a bedroom. So we've got a lot to crow in. You can see basically the square meterage of upstairs. So we're gonna very well insulate this in here and obviously make sure everything meets fire regs because this is a garage with a living space above it. So yeah, there's a lot to get on with in here. We've got quite a tight schedule to get it done as well. So it's gonna be go, go, go. Today's main thing though is getting this staircase in, getting this stud work up, getting the staircase in place and ready to rock and roll. So this wall here, like I mentioned before, is well out of plur and all over the place. So we need to make sure that it's square because obviously our staircase is gonna be fitted to the stud wall. So Pete and Joe have just used the three, four, five method. Basically what it is, you measure three units. So they've gone three foot from this point to there and then four foot from this point to there. And then you measure from the point you've marked there to the point you've marked there and that should be exactly five foot. If that is exactly five foot across there, then you know that you've got a perfect 90 degrees here. That's it, that's John's school maths lesson for the day. So all they need to do now is basically get this installed against the wall and then they can measure from the marks they've made, make sure that's exactly five foot from that point to that point and then they know then that everything is nice and square. These buttons can then be fixed down to the floor and then we know then everything that's plumbed up off those is gonna be nice and square across the wall. Yeah. 
Right, so our staircase is now constricted. It's a beast, it's heavy, so we're gonna need reinforcements. We'll get some guys in, there's plenty of people here. Basically, it just came in three parts, as you saw, so it's all been glued and screwed together. Uh, there's no null posts anywhere. There is decorative null posts, but no actual structural ones. Uh, because of how it's gonna work, there's gonna be stood work on the inside, on, on this side here. Basically, it will all be stood work, so the staircase will be fully enclosed. So there's no real need for any null posts because it can all be fixed structurally sound into the stood work. So we're just going to carry on getting these uprights in, get these across here and across here, and then we can get this bad boy <laughs> in the hole. Right, so while Pete is continuing with these uprights and Joe is finishing off these joist hangers, I'm gonna start getting the pocket in up there. Like I mentioned before, we need to run some extra joists across here. This isn't where the edge of the, the landing is. It's gonna be over here somewhere. So we need to get a pocket sorted in there so we can get our extra double trimmer in there, which will run straight across. And then the staircase will hook straight onto the trimmers in this section here. So we're just gonna take out a decent section, basically all that area there. Uh, just so it gives us a bit of flexibility so we can just get the staircase up, get those in, push them up to it, and obviously put our hangers on over there, get it all locked in nicely, and we're good to go. Right, so these are all in now, all the uprights are in. We've got one joist up the top, just sat in situ ready. Pete came up with a good idea of just putting this bit of timber underneath just to carry it, so we can slide this in and out as we need to. The pocket's out there as well, so we've got plenty of flexibility so we can move this joist now back over here. We can get the case in and up, and then we can just push that joist straight up to it just to lock it in, hold it in position while we get everything fixed up against this wall. We've got the extra muscle. That's it, puff those chests out, lads. Oh, <laughs> yes. Perks of the job. Right, let's do it. So, the staircase is in, you've just seen us installing it. it only took four of us to lift it, was it four, four of us? Of yeah, four of, of us. It wasn't too heavy, too bad. We've got it all in, it's all fixed in place. We've got a single joist in for now, we are gonna get another joist in there tomorrow, uh, but obviously that will be a double. There'll be an additional joist to go in as well, just, just about here somewhere. So now it's starting to take a bit more shape, we can see exactly where we need to go with the rest of our joist and where our studwork's gonna go. So we've made good progress today. Cheers Pete. Right, so order of business today is to get this staircase finalised. What we do need to do is move this because obviously we need two metres from this point for basically head height and this is probably a little bit too low because obviously our height difference here is too, too small so we need to obviously raise that up. What we can do to do that is basically move this joist here this way by putting a plant on the back of the case there and then bolting it all together. We're actually gonna put a triple in here because of the length of the span. It just makes sure there's absolutely no flex whatsoever. That will obviously give us enough head clearance as we're coming up the stairs, just to make sure that it passes building regs. Once that's all sorted, we can then start getting the rest of our joists in across here, get this all trimmed up, get the rest of our noggins in, start getting some flooring down up there. Pete and Joe have had to extend this a further one out as well, just to make sure we've got enough clearance because it was pretty tight. And the last thing we wanted to do was get everything in and then building the chalk around and say, no, we've got to move it. So we've done that just to extend that a bit further over. You can see we've got our triple joist in here as well now. So that's just temporarily fixed there and it's in the pocket there. We just need to make sure everything's level. Joe has got the pocket out there. The double trimmer is sat there ready and waiting to go in. So we just need to get a hanger on here 
and then we can trim that across and then we can then fill these joists in here and then that frees the floor space then upstairs ready. We can then start to get some flooring down. Also, I just want to show you this. Pete's new tool belt. Come on, Pete, give us a twirl. <laughs> Pete's got, what is it? What make is it, Pete? Come on, give us, give us a tool bag tour. Bucket Boss. Bucket Boss, high vis. Yeah. Loads yeah. of pouches, got a little thing for your mobile, mobile phone. What, probably back in like the 70s? Yeah, yeah, a, 19, a, a, a 1970s oh, mobile yeah. phone. Yeah, that's your mobile phone, that's even that's a yeah. picture. Yeah. There you go, look, didn't realise that, so yeah. yeah. Finding out new things about it all the time, but yeah, well chuffed with it. Got some good time of it going around the waist. Yeah, they're annoying, aren't they? It's and also, and also uh, now I've got middle aged spread, it sort of slips down past the waist now, doesn't it? <laughs> no, no, or, no, also adds a, a corset. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything in. I'm now a 32 waist for the first time in years. <laughs> right, we're all freezing, let's do yeah, some work. Yeah. So we're just about to get these joists in here now and we're using these the little twisty nails. Pete is just knocking these out with the hangers on. He's gonna pass it up now to us. As requested. As requested. Pete has put his little special trick on the top. Basically this bit of batten on top. That just sits on like that. So that means we can drop these in. That's it. There you go. So because we've just got this bit of batten on top, look, the hangers aren't fixed into anything, but the joist just sits nicely in place. So we know it's flush with the top, because obviously this runs through, flush with the joist here and the joist here. And then we can just pin this nicely in place with our hangers, and we're good to go. Let's do it, Joe. Right, so we've got the rest of our joists in here. You can see it does look like a little bit angular compared to the wall. That's because this wall, like I mentioned before, is all over the shop. So everything's all parallel running back here. If you remember, this is all gonna go all the way up. Once that carries through here, this will all be squared off nicely. Next up, the lads down there, we're just getting the noggins in. They're gonna get all these noggins in all through here. And then I'm gonna start getting some floorboards down up in this area. So that's it, another day is done. We've made good progress today. So the staircase is pretty much where we need it to be. We've got the rest of the joists in there, all across here, all the noggins are done, all the hangers are on. Obviously we're all a big team here. We're all happy and we all get on well with each other. But when you're going to spend six pound on a dishpan and brush and somebody comes and nicks it, not happy, not happy, I will find you. So what we're gonna do down here is there's gonna be stud work across here, all the way across to this point. There are gonna be some doors here at a later date, but we're gonna build the stud work in here for now, and then we can trim out what we need to for the doors later. There's gonna be a sliding door which will go in here, and then basically this will all be fully blanketed off, so upstairs is a completely separate entity to down here. So we're gonna do one of Pete's pocket doors in there. The toilet will be staying down here as well. There will be a toilet here as well as one upstairs. Uh, so we're gonna raise this floor level up to this point. Bring it out, like I mentioned before, to there, all the way across. And then that'll be a toilet and basin in there. So, we are now back upstairs. And I can now show you what's gonna happen up here. So, there's gonna be a kitchenette over here uh, with storage space, which we'll sort out at a later date over there. So what we're gonna do is build a dwarf stud wall here, about a metre high, well, a metre high, across here, which will come up to this point. And then that is gonna basically add as a, a blockage for the edge of the units, which will sit across there. Here will be the shower room, so we're going to have a shower unit over here. Then there's going to be a uh, basin there and toilet there. And then in here will be a bedroom. So that is, that is a plan. Joe is just getting everything cut down there now. And then Pete is going to knock this up together here.
So, the stood wall is up there, so you can see our units will go across that back wall, and that basically just allows a bit of separation between the staircase and the kitchenette. So, in the next episode, you're going to see us start to construct the living quarters of the property. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and consider subscribing so we can continue bringing you great content like this. See you next time.